Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing Braxton Family Values Season 3 Episode 9 Review. Now I'm not going to go talk to bit by bit everything this went on, everything that went on. I'm just going to talk about things that I thought was interesting. Like Tamar, she, her events are in Atlanta to see Dr. Jackie. You know Dr. Jackie, she's an um, OBGYN and she's also on a reality show, Married to Medicine. Tony, um, Tony Tamar and Vince go to see her. Three of her sisters have already, you know, Tony, Tawanda, and Trina, all, she delivered their babies, so she's like, hey, she seems like a good daughter, she, you know, delivered their babies, and everything was fine, so she goes to see her, and she's still in shock, like, doctors told me that I wasn't going to be able to, you know, either conceive or carry a baby, and here I am pregnant, and she's still trying to kind of get used to the fact that she's pregnant after hearing that news of, hey, you can't have a baby, but just like Dr. Um, Jackie said, you know, just because doctor said it don't mean that, you know, you got the man upstairs working with you. So, she's happy about that. She just didn't get to look at the baby and everything. So, you know, she's happy now. So, we're going to move over to a sadder note. Miss Evelyn's dog, Jackson, he passed away. He had some kind of problems with him. And she decided, hey, we're going to have a funeral, funeral for the Dom Jackson. Now she even went all out with her funeral, sending out an invitation. She got a little program of showing what Bre um, Jackson's life was like. And all the kids came out, they, they spouses and kids came out and showed their support and you know say their final piece to Jackson. Tony's son went up there and said a few words. Trina, she brought her dog up there and apparently she's her dog is speaking to her what Jackson is saying. How it's okay if you get another dog. I'm fine with that. I'm on to a better place. And I will accept that you have a new dog. Mr. Evelyn, she seems happy about that. Meanwhile, her ex fiance Doc is in the background looking like, Am I really here at a dog funeral? Is this really partaking at this very moment? But okay, he was there to support Miss Evelyn. So I guess he still has love for her. I guess they still friends, so hey, I'm going to be there for you. And some more sad news. Trina's son, he's starting high school and he's getting bullied. Apparently he was at school. Some kid took his bag of chips, stomped him. So her son grabbed the dude's backpack and now her son is getting suspended. Now my thing is, this kid and you know already grabbed my stuff and destroyed my property. Is he, you know, getting disciplined? I was defending myself, and her son's like, "Hey, mama, I did want to not come out, but I restrained myself." So she's like, "Hey, we gonna need to get him into some kind of class to help him, you know, be able to defend himself." Because my mama always told me, and I don't know what y'all mama told y'all, but if somebody hit you, you hit them as hard as they can. Yes, they leave you alone after that. I guess they figured this is a, he's kind of small, he ain't really going to fight back. But people need to watch out because you're trying to bully these kids these days. Sometimes they ain't having it no more. You may think, oh, this is a little bit old person. I'll be able to take them. And then they knock you out and you looking stupid. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry about that. So, yeah, he signs up for classes, some self-defense classes, and he's not only learning, but he's getting his, you know, frustration out. Like, yes, I'm... I need to do this, all this anger I got built up, I need to let it out somewhere. Now, I don't want to take that on some unsuspecting innocent bystander. So, yeah, the family gets together having a dinner. Tamar wants everybody to know, hey, got a surprise for y'all. But well, hold on, let me rewind. Tawana, y'all know a few episodes back, Tawana's daughter was taking ballet lessons. So now she's getting her all the outfits she needs to take ballet. And Twine is turning to that stage mom. She wants everything perfect. The little girl's like, I'm just doing this for fun. She has that look on her like, mama's just taking the fun out of this. I just want to go up there and get a tutu and twirl around and learn something. And the little girl's young, so she's not going to pick up the steps on point. But her and Andre go out and pick up, you know, some little ballet clothes for the little girl. He's like, okay. Why do they have to wear that? Why do boys have to wear this? He's just asking all kinds of questions. Getting on Twana's nerves. 
But she was like, okay, I didn't already brought this man here, so I'm going to have to deal with it. He's asking the dog on sales lady 50 million thousand questions. I know that is not a set word, but yes. She's like laughing, like, oh my goodness, is he really serious? Yeah. So Tracia, she comes along to help Lil Brooke with her dance lessons. And apparently, Tracy, she's a trained ballerina or dancer. So she's trying to help her out. And she's like, little girl, she got it. But, you know, she just needs to learn a little more. So it's time for Miss Evelyn. She her had her dinner. The little girl, she gets up and tries to do her little dance. And Twine is trying to show her. But she's looking kind of embarrassed. And, you know, like, I don't really want to be dancing in front of my family. I just want to sit down and give me a plate of food and eat. But, you know, they clap for her nonetheless anyway. It was cute. So... Tamar's like, Mommy, you want to tell them or you want me to tell them? So, Miss Evelyn lets me know, hey, I will be moving to Los Angeles. To why they don't seem too happy about that, because, like, hey, you moving away from me. You know, I'm just a hot skipper and jump away from you. Now, you trying to move all the way to Los Angeles? How that going to work out? And, you know, Trina and Gabe was already talking about moving to Los Angeles, but I guess that's depending on whether her son's going to be, you know, going to college in Los Angeles, because she's. That's her firstborn. She's already feeling that, oh my goodness, my baby's leaving me. He's scared that if my mama do, if I go to college in California and my mama do move to California, my mama's going to show up on that campus and make, all, make me all kind of embarrassed. And she won't see it as embarrassment. She could be coming up there to give him some money, some money give him some food. And him is going to look like, oh my goodness, my mama's baby me. But she's not going to see that. I I don't have kids yet, but I have two, three nephews, and my second nephew, he is six years old now, and he lets me know he is six, and he thinks he's a man. I don't know why my brother told him that, but yes, he thinks he's a man now. So he's no longer wanting to hold his auntie's hand. He thinks that's not cool to be seen holding his auntie's hand. So I kind of feel where she's coming from, like, dang. He's getting big now. Like, where did time go? I don't want my baby to leave. There might be a chance that I will. You catch me on campus one day and bam, I'm there. So, yeah. Meanwhile, Trina, not Trina, Tracy, she's been working with the motorcycle. Her husband's trying to show her she was doing good for a minute. When it's time to stop, the motorcycle did fall and she rolled off and broke the motorcycle. But that, you know, kind of messed up her plans of rolling up at her mama's birthday party on the motorcycle. But she was able to do that later on when the mom and all sisters were out eating and she wanted him to come outside and Tamar she was like, um, I'm eating, y'all go and tell me what happened. But they eventually made her get up and she come rolling up on the motorcycle. They were surprised, but Tony was like, you know, Trina's Trina why I keep on calling her Trina, but Tracy, she's a more adventuresome of out of the bunch, so she's not really surprised. Miss Evans like, oh no, ma'am, mm -mm, get off that motorcycle. You do not have anything surrounding you in case you fall. I was thinking the same thing too, because I'm not really on mopeds, motorcycles, because if I would to fall off, I'm getting skinned up. I ain't trying to get skinned up, so yeah. So that was the gist of the episode. If I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment or a video response. And like always, I want to thank my subscribers and the people who watch my videos. I want you to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And share this video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and here on YouTube. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.